RideEdition.com. Welcome. I'm your wiser advisor and I know stuff that I'm here to share with you. I want to talk about guns in California. That's good and bad all of the time. The lieutenant governor there is now recently saying this. He's saying, hey, hey, we got troubles. We've had a terrorist attack in San Bernardino and we got to fix it up. I know what to do. I can help all of you people. And the first order of business would be to make sure that you can't arm yourself. <laughs> Don't be the first responder. That wouldn't be very nice. We got to respond to the threats in a positive way and he says I'm here to exploit these attacks <laughs> he doesn't say that that's me paraphrasing but that's basically what he's doing I'm gonna limit your ability to choose how to best defend yourself and if uh, somebody chooses to launch an aggressive attack on you you got to pick up your cell phone and phone a cop and he'll come and look after you and they need to be the first responders how dumb is that it's already been proven that bullets when they're going one way only they're not nice bullets, right? I mean, they're killing good people and they're coming from bad people. You gotta have a bullet to go the other direction as well. And he's saying, not so fast. You shouldn't be allowed to do that. Guns should not be in the hands of citizens. That is dangerous to have people with firearms in their persons as they go about their day. Really, why does he have, when taxpayers pay for it, this unit of armed security around him? I think we need a pause on that one, don't we? Because he's a typical guy, typical liberal guy. Hillary Clinton's the same, Bloomberg is the same, nobody should have a gun, but look at me. I got six people over there and five people over there and they're armed to the teeth and I'm safe. I don't care about your life, but my life is kind of important. Blah. <laughs> Hypocrite. So that would be liberal, I repeat myself. In 2004, the city council in Cadiz, if I'm saying that correctly, Spain, they put this man in charge of overseeing construction of a wastewater treatment plant. And um, you know what? He didn't like it, so he went home. And he stayed home. Didn't tell anybody he was staying home, but he did. And his pay just continued to come to his bank account, deposited in his bank account every two weeks. And this went on for six years. He collected this $41,500 a year. <laughs> and then finally an official saw his name on a list of employees due to receive an award for 20 years of service. <laughs> and so <laughs> he came and got his award and he went home and he's still getting paid. Uh, and now they're talking about it. And they're saying, hey, we can't pay you anymore. And he says, but this socialism system is kind of cool. You got to keep paying me. Nobody fired me. I haven't been give him proper notice, leave me alone, and he's still on the payroll and he's at home still. Oh my, they walk among us. <laughs> Here's a guy in Newmarket, Ontario, recently went to court and his name is Marco Muzo. Again, if I'm saying that correctly, he was stumbling drunk here recently and he uh, stumbled out of a private jet and got into a really expensive sports car. He drove out on the street and he killed people. Killed three children and a grandfather of them, four people. He murdered these people. He's now been sentenced, okay? And after murdering four people, oh, he was drunk. I guess that's okay. He's gonna probably end up serving six years, maybe less, maybe a little bit more. I, let, let's put a spin on that. I mean, he should be hung until dead. I mean, this is horrible, horrible. He's had 10, at least 10 speeding tickets in the recent past, and, and he's just a goof, and he's out killing people. Again, put this in perspective. You got a drunk guy, stumbles off a private jet, takes a gun, walks out of the middle of the 401, and shoots four people. There wouldn't be another firearm in Canada today. They'd have mine, they'd have yours, they'd do everything, because that's how they do. How many sports cars have been seized lately? How about none? I mean, this is a terrible tragedy for the family. Here's a guy that's in jail. He's gonna come out of jail. He'll be stumbling again. Uh, does he have remorse? Maybe he murdered four people. Capital punishment, he's a poster boy for it. This is incredible. You got people saying, ah, oh, you should have had a harsher sentence. What, another year, another two years? What, really? He's a murderer. Good bloody grief, gives me a headache. I'll come back here tomorrow and I'll have more stuff for you. <laughs> See ya.